Hi, everybody. Glad to see you on this uh, webinar again. And uh, I hope that we are going to have fun today. So how are you? Just share your mood in the chat, please. You can write how uh, you feel today. If you're happy or maybe you're sad or maybe you're excited or maybe you feel tired, just share uh, with us. I'd really like to know how you feel today before we start our work. So I hope that you're doing really great and we can start. So this is uh, webinar six. This is the sixth uh, week of our summertime program. And uh, today uh, we are talking about the future simple tense. And also uh, you have learned uh, the words about the animals. So that's why, guys, uh, this is what we are discussing today. I hope that we are going to have fun and we can, um, and we can learn something new. So one second. So, but before we start talking about the grammar and the vocabulary, I want you to look at this picture on the left and uh, tell me, please, can you count the stars here? So we've got some green, blue, purple, yellow, white, pink, red, orange, and gray stars. So just count the stars and write the color and the number. And I'm going to read your ideas. colors and the number of these stars of different colors. So I'm waiting for this. Okay. So guys, what about green stars? Maybe first, how many green stars you can see here? Red star seven, okay. What about other colors, guys? Let's do this with other colors. Green, too. Mm -hmm. Good. Pink, eight. Okay. Okay, so someone says two. But uh, what color? Blue four, green two, five, five blue, okay. So five or four. Don't forget about other colors. We've got orange, we've got gray, white, yellow, purple, probably 
haven't said anything about purple stars as well. Okay, then one white star. Okay. Yellow six. I'm just reading your. Uh huh. Okay, cool. I think you're very attentive, but uh, you're going to see the result at the end of the webinar. You'll see how many different stars we've got. Hey, nice work, everybody. So now it's time for us to work with the grammar. And as I've told you before, today we are discussing the simple future tense. So first of all, we need to say when we use this simple future tense and what it means if we use it. So uh, let's have a look here. We've got like three, like we have time. Yeah, and we've got three main uh, points at that time. We've got past, this is before now, present, this is now, and future, after now. And uh, present or now, this is what's happening right now. For example, now you and I, we're uh, working together on at the webinar and we're learning some new grammar. And uh, future, this is what will be after now. Activity will start after some time. So maybe you will go to the beach when we finish our work here, or you will read a book, or you will watch a film, and so on and so forth. So this is how it works. Activity that starts after some time. And uh, here is the structure of the simple future tense. And is, as in all tenses, we have uh, affirmative, negative, and uh, interrogative or question sentences. And we're going to start with uh, the affirmative sentence and the structure that we need to use here. So first of all, we need to have a subject. And for uh, this uh, subject, we've got uh, like uh, two other forms, will or shall, uh, and then um, the verb or bare infinitive form. You can see that here we have will or shall, but uh, actually we uh, don't use uh, shall that often. It used to be like with I and we, uh, but now uh, you can, put will with all subjects you have, and this won't be a problem, this won't be a mistake, everything will just be fine. So for example, your subject is I. Then you put the word will, this is the future simple um, word helper. Then you have this uh, bare form uh, go, and uh, some other details, like to Thailand. I will go to Thailand. Subject will infinitive form and uh, some other ideas. And I can see the question, what does it mean shall? Shall it's the same as will, the same form, but shall it um, was, uh, used was I and we, and now we uh, don't use it very often. So we use will everywhere. It used to be um, the form that you used to, the same as will, but you know, like do and does, they are the same, but with other words. And the same thing was was will and shall, but now we uh, use uh, will everywhere and uh, it's correct. So just, just like this. Okay, then the negative form. Uh, here we have the subject, then the same word will, but you need to add not here. So uh, not, 
uh, goes here because it's a negative sentence and will plus not together this can be a short form want and then you have your infinitive form of the verb so if it was go then it is still go and it's totally fine to have it like this so i will not go to thailand or i won't go to thailand so you see you will not go to want i won't go to thailand this was the negative form and now let's see what we have in the question form in the question you uh, always need to put something at the beginning of the sentence so here this is the word will after the word will you have the subject and then you have infinitive form of the verb so something like will you go to Thailand? yeah will goes to the first place then you have the subject then infinitive form and some other details so to sum up you can see that yeah this um, tense uh, shows something that will start after some time uh, in the future and uh, we use uh, the word will everywhere this is like our helper here and uh, also uh, if you have the negative form you need to add not and uh, this will be want and the question has to be with will at the first place so it goes like just like this okay and uh, you can also see here that uh, the structure like uh, is uh, subject will then uh, the verb and object so you can have some other details like john will play football so football is like a detail you put it there after the verb and as you can see it doesn't matter if john like one person it still will play and also john and sean will play so both with singular and with plural, you can use a will and uh, it's totally fine. So it's time to practice a little bit, guys. And here is our task. We need to fill in the blanks uh, with the future simple forms. Uh, you will have future simple everywhere, but uh, some of the sentences will be in the negative form. So if you have not, it means that this is negative and you need to change it as a negative form. And here, guys, uh, we're going to do number one, like together. And then I'll ask you to uh, write your ideas individually um, after I finish number one with you. So don't forget to write the number of the sentence and then you just uh, write uh, will or want or something and don't forget to write the verb. So no need to write the whole sentence. It's totally fine if you write it just like this. So I'm going to read number one. Mom, bake a cake. So guys, please help me write number one and how we change this uh, mom and bake a cake. So please write in the comments down below. I need your help, guys. mom and bake a cake but in the future so let's do this i know that you can do this just don't forget to write the number and the phrase that we have here in this gap I have the first baked. Okay, but uh, baked, it's in the past. And we need in the future. So, Katerina, mom will bake a cake. Yes, that's correct. And um, 
Katerina, you can write just like one will bake and that's okay. So no need to write like every single word, mom and just uh, number one and will bake. That's totally fine. So this is the future. What will be in the future after some time? So mom will bake a cake. We're not talking about the past, okay? Then number two, my friends not go to the party. My friends and not go to the party. Right, please, number two, and uh, how you open these brackets and what words we have here. Yes, that's right. My friends won't go to the party. Very good. Number three, I study for the test. Let's do this one. Don't forget to write the number. I'll study for the test. Yeah, I will study for the test or I'll. That's a short form. I'll study for the test. Very good. Number four. She have a birthday party. She and have a birthday party. She will have a birthday party. That's very good. Number five, Tom take a dog for a walk. Tom and take a dog for a walk. So yeah, Tom will take a dog for a walk. That's true. Okay, nice, nice work. Number six, Daniel, go to the swimming pool. So guys, help me with this one, with number six. <laughs> That's true. Daniel will go to the swimming pool. Very nice. So number seven, Kate, visit grandparents next week. So what can you say about this one? Well, yes. Kate will visit grandparents next, next week. Good. Number eight. Sam, buy a new computer next week. Any ideas for this one? Sam will buy. You're doing so good today, guys. Very nice. Sam will buy a new computer next week. Number nine, we not play tennis next Monday. Let's do this. Yes, we won't play tennis next Monday. Good. And number 10, finally, they not fly to London this winter. So what do we have with this one? Yeah, they won't fly to London this winter. Okay, very nice. 
So guys, here are the answers. One more time, mom will bake a cake. My friends won't go to the party. I will study for the test. She will have a birthday party. Tom will take a dog for a walk. Daniel will go to the swimming pool. Kate will visit grandparents next week. Sam will buy a new computer next week. We won't play tennis next Monday and they won't fly to London this winter. So, yes, that's right. Okay, nice work, everybody. It's time for us to move on. And it's time for us to play a little bit. And what do we need to do here in this game? This is future simple matching. And here we need to uh, drop these uh, words to uh, the answers. So for example, there is a good film on TV. And what can we say? There is a good film on TV. Probably I'll watch it. Yeah. Then we've got it's raining. I feel ill. This book looks good. It's very hot today. The phone is ringing. We're hungry. It's Lucy's birthday tomorrow. I'm thirsty. It's cold in here. So guys, let's find the answers to these uh, phrases. For example, as there is a good film on TV, I'll watch it. So uh, what can we say for it's raining, guys? Just uh, write the phrase for it's raining. Choose, please. What do you think can be here? Any ideas? It's raining and the phrase that we we can use here. Aha, uh -huh, you're doing like a different way. I'll answer it. The phone is ringing. Okay, that's okay. The phone is ringing. I'll answer it. Okay, you can do it in a different way. So maybe we'll buy a present for her. It's like you can write something or it's raining you can write something here as well okay it's raining i'll take my umbrella okay mm -hmm. what else We have some options on the left, so you can pick one and choose uh, the correct phrase. So what do you think we can choose here? So we'll buy a present for her. So what's the situation if we buy a present for her? Yeah, sure, it's Lucy's birthday. Then I feel ill, I'll call the doctor. Okay. What about this phrases in uh, this situations? So what else, guys?
I'll make some sandwiches. What's the situation here? Of course, this is we're hungry. Then I'll close the window. Probably it's cold in there. Then I'll get some juice. Sure, I'm thirsty. I'll wear shorts. It's very hot today. And I think I'll buy it. This book looks good. So let's check out our answers. And as you can see, everything is correct. My congratulations. Our score is 10 out of 10. So we're doing super cool today. Very nice, nice work. So now it's time for us to work a little bit with um, the words. But before uh, we start talking about the words, I have a question, guys. Uh, do you have uh, any any questions? I mean, about the grammar. So, any questions about the grammar? About the future simple tense? If you do have questions, you can uh, ask me right now. So any questions about future simple tense? If you don't have any questions, you can just write a minus in the chat. Okay, so any questions there? No questions. Okay, that's good. So then I think we can move to our vocabulary part. And now it's time for us to match the animals with their home. So we've got the homes, cave, grasslands, forest, um, then um, marshes and lake. And we've got some animals, hippopotamus, elephant alligator zebra and bear so guys tell me please oh i'm sorry tell me please where hippopotamus lives is it in the cave grasslands forest marshes or lake just comment there down below where hippopotamus lives Okay, so where does uh, hippopotamus live? In marshes. Well, let's check. That's true. Very good. Then um, where does the elephant live? Where does the elephant live, guys? Okay, your ideas. What about the elephant? Well, about this one, this is uh, the grassland. Okay, what about alligator? Uh, 
alligator lives in the lake. Okay, what about zebra? Zebra also lives in the grasslands. And what about bear? Bears live in the caves and also they can live in the forest, like in different places. Okay, guys, it's time for us to play a little bit. We're going to play bamboozle here. And uh, here we'll need to work with different habitats. So wait a second. Different animals in different places. So Time for us to play one second. And we can play here. So habitats, we've got one team and classic. Okay, I'm gonna pick the number and you need to write where what you think you can see here. So I wanna pick 12. So what's this? What animals can what animal can you see here? Just write in the comments, please. So your idea, what is this? Yes, that's a penguin. Very nice. You're doing good. Okay, okay, let me pick this one. What's this? Do you know this place? It's really hot there. So what can you say? Oh yes, that's the desert. And let us check that one. Hey, this one probably. So what's this, guys? I'm pretty sure you know this place. So let's just name it. So what place is this? Well, yeah, you think it's a park or probably a forest. Let me check. Well, yeah, the, the, these are the trees, but they are in the park or the forest. So we are... What's this? What can you see here? Okay, your ideas, please. Water, sea, ocean, horizon. That's ocean, sea and ocean kind of similar. Okay, let me pick this one. What's this? It's like the... Um, you can see this in the desert or you can see it um, near the sea. It's like substance.
Do you know this one? Yeah, sure. This is sent and let me check. This is sent. Okay. This one, probably. What is this? Finally, we have some animals. Do you know uh, what animal we can see here? So that's a shark, you think, yeah? That's true. Very nice. I want to have this one. What's this? I'm waiting for your replies here. Well, yeah, this is, these are the rocks. That's true. Next one. Oh, we are too lucky today. We win 50 points. What's this? So your idea is like iceberg, ice, Antarctica, or polar region. That that was true. Okay, number 13. What's this? Finally, we have a bird. Do you know this bird? I know that you do. So this is the parrot, right? You think it's parrot and that's the Okay, we win 50 more points. You imagine that? But we lose 20 points here. Okay. What's this? What can you say about this one? Yeah, just like something like a river, but this can be like different words. Or maybe this is a rainforest. Yeah. Let us check. Or jungle. Yeah, jungle and rainforest, it's literally the same. Number 11, what's this? The word mountain, you think? Okay. Let us check. These are mountains. What's this? What's the name of this animal? Yeah, that's a polar bear. Okay, let me pick this one. What's this? Do you guys know how to name this animal? If you don't, it's not a problem. So this will be your word of the day. So 
So what can you say about this one? Well, the word camel, and that's it. We are ready, and we've got 275 points. We're doing so good today. So we are the winners and never lose. They say never lose. So yeah, we never lose. We're so good at our game. So we're doing super cool. Okay, guys. Uh, now we're going to work with another thing here. Yeah, so we played this game. And now I want you to look at these pictures and uh, tell where these animals live. So we've got different places, mountain, ocean, forest, desert, and jungle. And we've got different animals like fox, tiger, uh, wolf, sea star, snake, and so on and so forth. So you need to write some sentences about these animals. So for example, camel lives in a desert and uh, jellyfish lives in the, uh, in the ocean. So just write about all these animals here and uh, write what you uh, think where these animals live. So I'm waiting for your replies there. And I'm going to read your sentences. So don't hesitate to write your ideas. Bear lives in the forest. Yes, that's true. Very good. What about other animals? Sea star lives in the ocean. So guys, don't forget to say the word the, because in the ocean, in the forest, and uh, sea star lives. If you're talking about like one, then you need to add S. Sea star lives in the ocean. Goat lives in the mountains. Yeah, very nice. Sea star lives in the uh, sea, yeah. Wolf lives in the forest, that's good. Okay, I can see the word parrot, so uh, what can you say about parrot? Ah, you don't have parrot here probably. At least I can see this. Camel lives in the desert, okay, very nice. Don't forget to say lives because uh, you have like one. Okay, wolf lives in the forest, bear lives in the forest, goat lives in the forest, camel lives in the desert, wolf lives in the forest, monkey lives in the jungle, uh, monkeys live in the jungle, jellyfish lives in the sea mm -hmm. or in the ocean, that's right. Snakes a snake lives in the jungle, tiger lives in the jungle, monkey lives in the jungle. Okay, so good. Okay, what about other? What about the seahorse? Snake lives in the forest and jungle. Okay, but we've got a uh, fox, we've got beaver, then uh, llama, eagle, mm, 
and uh, Scorpio uh, and uh, seahorse. What about these animals? Let's say about these animals. Fox lives in the forest. Yes, that's true. Okay, nice work. But we have also beaver. Beaver is here. Then we've got seahorse. Seahorse lives in the sea, yeah, or in the ocean. Eagle also. We've got llama, eagle, and uh, scorpio. So let's uh, say where eagles live and uh, also where uh, Scorpios live and llamas. Yeah, seahorse. Yeah, we said about this one. Okay, beaver lives in the forest. Okay, cool. So now, guys, the scorpion lives in the jungle, yeah, or in the desert, I would say. Then, uh, now, guys, right, please, uh, uh, between these animals, what animal is your favorite? If you could choose between these animals, what animal is your favorite? For example, my favorite animal here is fox. What about yours? Just here, not in general like i like cats or dogs but here in this picture what do you like most of all so what's your favorite animal you can share with us Okay, so what can you say? I'm just waiting for this. Okay, and uh, we we're going to play one more bamboozle game. So let's play. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm reading about your favorite animals. So you have different favorite animals like tiger, monkey, fox, eagle, llama. Okay, cool. So then let's start playing. Let's play a little bit more. So what place is this? So what's this? Okay, so your ideas, please, about this place. Yeah, so you think it's something like a lake or a pond or what is this place? different ideas actually and these are like 
wetlands or just like the lake or something. Okay, then this one. Uh huh. We win. Sent here. So lucky. So what is this place, guys? Where is it? What is this place? Any ideas for this? Okay. Island, ocean, palm trees. So let me check. So oh, that's an island. Okay, the next one. So this giraffe has a lawn. What? You have to see this arrow. So this giraffe has a lawn. What? A lawn. What? Yeah, the word neck. Let us check. And the word ton too. So he's sticking his ton. And that's right. Okay, what place is this, guys? Okay, you think it's a rainforest or a forest? Savannah? Okay, let us check. That is a rainforest. We win 50 more points. Good. And 50 more points. You imagine that? Wow. Okay, what happens dead is it? What place is this? The word cave, okay. That's true. Oh, nice. Let me pick this one. So animals need it to keep warm. And what is it? And by the way, you can see this in the picture. So what do animals need to keep warm? Your ideas, please. The word fur. Okay, that's true. And this one, what is it? This thing uh, on the tree? Birds make this things uh, to live there. That is nest, okay. I think that's good. very good. Then, kangaroo use uh, it to carry the joey, so like the small baby. And what is it? You can see this in the picture. It's so cool. Yeah, the word bag, you think? So it's like poach, so like a bag. So what habitat is this? What place we can see here? Okay, what can you say about this one? That's a forest, right? That's where is it, guys? Rabbits are here. So where is it? It's 
So that's a hole or something. And it's underground. Yes, that's right. We've got three more. Okay, then birds uh, use them to fly. What are those? This parrot has this and also not only parrots, like birds use them to fly. And you think these are wings? Yep, I think that's true. Okay, two more. What is it? Yeah, your ideas for this one, like spider or web. Yeah, this is the spider and it's... Okay, and one more. What habitat is this, guys? Can you name this? Of course, that's a desert. That's... So And we are unbeatable, guys. We're doing so cool today. Okay, very nice. So it's time for us to move on. And uh, now, guys, if you have questions, you can ask me. If you have the questions about the grammar, just go ahead and ask me. But if you don't have any questions, then just send a minus, okay? So any questions about the words? Okay, guys, so yeah. Well, I cannot really see any questions, so then just let's check how many different stars we've got there. Okay, so green stars, two, then blue stars, five, purple stars, three, then uh, yellow, six, white, one pink eight red six orange three and gray nine so guys yeah that's it okay and now it's time for me to show you your homework for the next time so here it is. You're going to make a project again. So the project time, you'll need to create a project about your dream town. So you need to create your ideal town uh, project and share it with us next time. So well, what does it mean? Uh, your uh, dream town or ideal town, it's like the place where you want to live with uh, different things that you want to see. And uh, here, guys, you need to create this project. You need to make some pictures or show some 
um, some things and uh, uh, like shoot some videos and you'll need to send it in the link, um, upload it on uh, the different link that I will send to you right now. So let me show you this place. It's here. Here is the link. I'm copying this link and I'm going to send the link just right here. And you need to open this link and uh, the project will be, be about ideal house. So how to upload this? You need to click on Sazdat and the Gruzit file. You choose uh, any picture about your project here and you're just uploading this picture and then you can uh, change uh, the name to your name and so on. So you can have it here. And guys, uh, I'm going to send you this link in uh, the messages for the Halni chat. So guys, you need to open the Halni chat. Like uh, I'm gonna write new projects, new projects, my ideal town. And I'm gonna write upload them here. And here is the link that you can use to upload. And then uh, at the end of uh, the next, uh, at the beginning of the next webinar, you're going to uh, see your projects and I'm going to look through them. I hope that you're going to have really nice, wonderful projects and this will be very good. So guys, uh, don't forget to make your projects and share with us next time. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. Thank you for being here and thank you for taking uh, an active part in our webinar. Uh, don't forget about the projects uh, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.